I'm Mia Magic, and we are talking about divination. A couple of different examples of divination are using runes, which are symbols that each have a specific meaning, or scrying, which is using a mirror, water, or another reflective surface to really drop in and receive visual guidance and information. You can also use a crystal ball, letting your eyes relax and gazing into the crystal in a way that's not focused on any particular thing. You just allow whatever images are meant to come through to be reflected to you from the crystal ball. That's a very ancient way of using magic and it can be really, really interesting if you let yourself just release from what your eyes see in the regular three-dimensional world and you use the crystal to go beyond the veil. One of the best modern ways to use divination is shuffle on Spotify. Sometimes we call it the spirit shuffle, sometimes we let God be the DJ. This is so fun. You can ask a question or just call in some energy and then press shuffle on your Spotify and let the consciousness of the universe give you a message just like we did in Positano. The message can come through in the lyrics, in the title, or in the memory that it invokes for you. What time in your life you associate that song with, or what experience. Astrology and numerology are also amazing ways to use divination. Astrology is an ancient practice that goes back millennia and generally requires quite a bit of study in order to really understand how to interpret all of the signs of each of the planets and their interactions with one another. I never really resonated with just being one sign, and when I found out that you actually have an entire planetary spectrum that makes you who you are, that really changed my relationship to astrology. You're not just your sun sign, you're also your moon sign and your rising sign, which is the sign that's coming up over the horizon as you're being born. You also have the sign that is your communication, that is your relationships, that is your home life. It's just endless. I used to be a total skeptic about astrology, honestly, but then when I realized that our bodies are the same percentage of water as the planet is, and the moon controls the tides, and the moon is just this one small rock that orbits our planet, I was like, if that controls all the water on the body of Earth, and we have the same amount of water in our bodies, what if all the massive rocks that are spinning all around us and the huge giant ball of fire are also really affecting us? That changed the game of astrology for me. So I highly recommend you go online and look up free birth chart. You have to know your birth time and you just put it in and you can find out so much additional information about who you are through the lens of astrology. Great way to use divination. The more you study astrology, the more you can anticipate all of the planetary energies that are unfolding in each moment and how they relate to your life. Astrology can really help you through hard times because it can explain to you why you're feeling a certain way or what's going on in the world around you so that you can relate to it from a higher perspective. It can just be really helpful in supporting you be in your highest expression throughout challenging times. The biggest part about divination is just getting yourself out of the way and allowing the divine to use you as a channel for information, whether that's to answer questions about your own life or support others in theirs. Divination has been around for millennia and it's really making a comeback in modern magic. So I hope this video will inspire you to explore a little bit more of the access that you have to the divine energies of the universe. Check out my new show, Making Modern Magic. I'm Mia Magic, welcome to the wizarding world.